The Quran, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans, Quranite.com. Part 4 All food was lawful to the children of Israel, save what Israel made unlawful upon himself before the Torah was sent down. Say thou, bring the Torah and recite it if you be truthful. And whoso invents a lie about God after that, these are the wrongdoers. Say thou, God spoke truly. So follow the creed of Ibrahim, inclining to truth, and he was not of the idolaters. The first house set up for mankind was that at Bakka, blessed and a guidance for all mankind. In it were clear proofs of the station of Ibrahim, and whoso entered it was safe. And God's claim upon mankind was the pilgrimage to the house, whoso could find a way to it. And whoso denied, God was free from need of all mankind. Say thou, O doctors of the law, why deny you the proofs of God, when God is witness to what you do? Say thou, O doctors of the law, why divert you from the path of God, him who believes, seeking its deviation when you are witnesses? And God is not unmindful of what you do. O you who heed warning, if you obey some of those in possession of the law, they will drive you back after your faith as those who span guidance while claiming virtue. And how can you deny, when to you are the proofs of God recited, and in your midst is his messenger? And whoso holds fast to God has been guided to a straight path. O you who heed warning, be in prudent fear of God with the fear due him, and die not save that you be submitted, and hold fast to the rope of God all together, and be not divided. And remember the grace of God towards you. When you were enemies, he united your hearts, so that by his favour you became brethren, and you were upon the edge of a pit of fire, and he saved you from it. Thus does God make plain to you his proofs, that you might be rightly guided. And let there be among you a community, inviting to good and enjoining what is fitting and forbidding perversity, and these are the successful. And be not like those who became divided and disputed after clear evidence came to them, and they have a tremendous punishment. The day faces will be white and faces will be black. As for those whose faces will be black, did you deny after your faith? Then taste the punishment for what you denied. And as for those whose faces will be white, in the mercy of God wherein they abide eternally. Those are the proofs of God. We recite them to thee aright. And God desires not injustice for all mankind. And to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And unto God are matters referred. You are the best community brought forth for mankind, enjoining what is fitting and forbidding perversity and believing in God. And had the doctors of the law believed, it would have been better for them. Among them are believers, but most of them are the wantonly perfidious. They will not cause you harm save hindrance, and if they fight you, they will turn to you their backs. Then will they not be helped. Pitched upon them was ignominy, wheresoever they lost the ascendancy, save by a rope from God and a rope from men. And they incurred wrath from God, and pitched upon them was poverty, because they denied the proofs of God. And they slew the prophets without cause, because they opposed and exceeded all bounds. They are not the same. Among the doctors of the law is an upright community, 
They recite the proofs of God during the watches of the night, and they submit. They believe in God and the last day, and enjoin what is fitting, and forbid perversity, and compete in good works, and these are among the righteous. And what they do of good, they will not be denied it. And God knows those of prudent fear. Those who are indifferent to warning, their wealth and their children will avail them nothing against God. And these are the companions of the fire, wherein they abide eternally. The example of what they spend in the life of this world is like the example of a wind wherein was biting cold. It befell the tilth of a people who wronged their souls and destroyed it. And God wronged them not, but they wronged themselves. O oh, you who heed warning, take not as intimates other than your own. They will not fail to cause you confusion. They love that you should suffer. Hatred has been made manifest by their mouths, and what their breasts hide is greater. We have made plain the proofs to you, if you will use reason. Here you are, those who love them, and they love you not, when you believe in all of the law. And when they meet you, they say, we believe. But when they are alone, they bite their fingertips at you from rage. Say thou, die in your rage, God knows what is in the breasts. If good touches you, it vexes them, and if evil befalls you, they exult thereat. But if you be patient and in prudent fear, their plan will never harm you at all. God encompasses what they do. And when thou wentest early from thy people to assign the believers their stations for battle, and God was hearing, knowing, when two groups among you were concerned, lest they should despair, and God was their ally, and in God let the believers place their trust, and God gave you victory upon a full moon when you were despised, and be in prudent fear of God, that you might be grateful. When thou didst say to the believers, Is it not sufficient for you that your Lord should support you with three thousand angels sent down? Verily, if you be patient and in prudent fear, and they come upon you of a sudden, your Lord will reinforce you with five thousand angels making marks. And God made it only as glad tidings for you, and that your hearts might be reassured thereby. And there is no help save from God, the mighty, the wise. That he might cut off a part of those who are indifferent to warning, or suppress them so they turn back disappointed. No concern is it of thine, whether he turn towards them or punish them. They are wrongdoers. And to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. He forgives whom he wills and punishes whom he wills. And God is forgiving, merciful. O oh, you who heed warning, consume not usury, doubling, redoubling. And be in prudent fear of God that you might be successful. And be in prudent fear of the fire, prepared for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And obey God and the messenger, that you might obtain mercy. And vie one with another for forgiveness from your Lord. And a garden as wide as the heavens and the earth, prepared for those of prudent fear. Those who spend in prosperity and in adversity, and those who control their wrath and are forgiving towards men, and God loves the doers of good, and those who, when they commit sexual immorality or wrong their souls, remember God, and ask forgiveness for their transgressions, and who forgives transgressions, save God, and persist not in what they were doing, and they know. These, their reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein. And excellent is the reward 
of those who act. Practices have come and gone before you. So travel in the land and see how was the final outcome of the repudiators. This is a manifest fact for mankind and guidance and an exhortation for those of prudent fear. And faint not nor grieve and you will be the superior ones if you be believers. If injury touch you, there has touched people an injury the like thereof. And those are the days we cause to alternate among men, both that God might know those who heed warning, and take witnesses among you, and God loves not the wrongdoers, and that God might refine those who heed warning, and eliminate those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Or did you think that you would enter the garden when God knows not those of you who strive or knows the patient, and you wished for death before you met it, then you saw it when you were looking on, ellipsis, and were afraid to continue. And Muhammad is only a messenger. Messengers have come and gone before him. If then he dies or is killed, will you turn back on your heels? And he who turns back on his heels does no harm to God at all. And God will reward the grateful. And it is not for a soul to die save by God's leave, by a decree fixed in time. And whoso desires the reward of this world, we give him thereof. And whoso desires the reward of the hereafter, we give him thereof. And we will reward the grateful. And alongside how many a prophet have there fought many stoutly devout men, and they fainted not at anything that befell them for the cause of God, and they did not weaken, and they did not yield, and God loves the patient. And their word was only that they said, Our Lord, forgive thou us our transgressions, and our excesses in our affair, and make thou firm our feet, and help thou us against the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. So God gave them the reward of this world, and the fairest reward of the hereafter. And God loves the doers of good. O oh, you who heed warning, if you obey those who are indifferent to warning, they will drive you back on your heels, and you will turn back as losers. The truth is, God is your benefactor, and he is the best of helpers. We will cast into the hearts of those who are indifferent to warning terror because they ascribe a partnership with God to that for which has been sent down no warrant, and their habitation is the fire, and evil is the dwelling of the wrongdoers. And God remained true in his promise to you. When you were aware of them by his leave, when you had lost heart and disputed concerning the affair, and rebelled after he had shown you what you love, ellipsis, his promise ceased to be binding upon him. To continue, among you is he who desires this world, and among you is he who desires the hereafter. Then turned he you away from them, that he might try you, and he has pardoned you, and God is bountiful towards the believers. When you were ascending and paying no heed to anyone, and the messenger calling you from your rear, he requited you with grief upon grief, that you might not regret what eluded you or what befell you, and God is aware of what you do. Then sent he down upon you after distress security, slumber overcoming a number of you, and a number had worried their souls, assuming about God other than the truth, the assumption of ignorance, saying, Have we any part of the affair? Say thou, All the affair belongs to God. They hide within themselves what they reveal not to thee, saying, Had we any part of the affair, we would not have been slain here. Say thou, Had you been in your houses, those for whom killing had been ordained 
would have gone forth to their resting places, and that God might try what is in your breasts, and that he might refine what is in your hearts, and God knows what is in the breasts. Those who turned back among you the day the two hosts met, the shaitan but caused them to slip through some of what they earned. But God has pardoned them. God is forgiving, forbearing. O oh, you who heed warning, be not like those who are indifferent to warning and say of their brethren when they travel through the land or are on an expedition, had they been with us they would not have died or been killed, that God might make that a sorrow in their hearts. And God gives life and gives death, and God sees what you do. And if you are killed or die for the cause of God, pardon from God and mercy are better than what they amass. And if you die or are killed, to God will you be gathered. And because of the mercy of God, thou wast lenient with them. And hadst thou been coarse and stern, they would have disbanded from round about thee. So pardon thou them and ask thou forgiveness for them, and take thou counsel with them in the affair. And when thou makest a decision, place thou thy trust in God. God loves those who would place their trust aright. If God helps you, none can defeat you. And if he forsakes you, who is there who can help you after him? And in God, let the believers place their trust. And it is not for a prophet that he should coerce, and whoso coerces will come with what he coerced on the day of resurrection. Then will every soul be paid in full what it earned, and they will not be wronged. Is then he who seeks the pleasure of God like one who incurs wrath from God and whose habitation is hell, and evil is the journey's end? They are degrees in the sight of God, and God sees what they do. God has shown grace to the believers in raising up among them a messenger among themselves, reciting to them his proofs and increasing them in purity, and teaching them the law and wisdom. And if you were before in obvious error, or when misfortune befell you, having caused the double thereof, you said, Whence is this? Say thou, it is from yourselves. God is powerful over all things. And what befell you the day the two hosts met was by God's leave that he might know the believers and that he might know the waverers. And it was said to them, Come, fight for the cause of God, or repel. They said, Had we known of fighting, we would have followed you. They were nearer to denial that day than to faith, saying with their mouths what was not in their hearts. And God is most aware of what conceal those who said of their brethren when they stayed back. Had they obeyed us, they would not have been killed. Say thou, then avert from yourselves death if you be truthful. And think not of those who are killed for the cause of God as dead, the truth is, they are living with their Lord, receiving provision, exultant at what God has bestowed upon them of his bounty, and rejoicing for those behind them who are yet to join them, that they need not fear, nor will they regret. They rejoice in grace and bounty from God, and that God suffers not to be lost the reward of the believers, those who respond to God and the messenger after injury befalls them, for those of them as do good and are in prudent fear is tremendous reward. Those to whom men say, the people have gathered against you, so be afraid of them. But it increases them in faith, and they say, sufficient for us is God, and excellent is the guardian. And they return with grace and bounty from God. Evil touches them not when they seek the good pleasure of God. And God is one possessing tremendous bounty. But that, the shaitan puts his allies in dread of it. 
but fear them not, and fear me, if you be believers. And let not grieve thee those who compete in denial, they harm not God at all. God wills not to make for them any portion in the hereafter, and they have a tremendous punishment. Those who sell faith for denial, they harm not God at all, and they have a painful punishment. And let not those who are indifferent to warning think that we but reprieve them good for their souls. We but reprieve them that they might increase in falsehood, and they have a humiliating punishment. God will not leave the believers to that to which you incline until he distinguishes the bad from the good. And God will not apprise you of the unseen, but God chooses of his messengers whom he wills. So believe in God and his messengers. And if you believe and are in prudent fear, for you is a tremendous reward. And let not those who are miserly with what God gives them of his bounty think it good for them. The truth is, it is evil for them. Hung around their necks will be that with which they were miserly on the day of resurrection. And to God belongs the inheritance of the heavens and the earth. And God is aware of what you do. God has heard the saying of those who say, God is poor and we are rich. We will record what they say and their killing of the prophets without cause. And we will say, taste the punishment of the consuming fire because of what your hands sent before you and because God is not unjust to the servants. Those who say, God has charged us that we believe not any messenger until he bring us an offering consumed by fire. Say thou, there came to you messengers before me with clear evidence and with what you say. Why then did you kill them if you be truthful? And if they reject thee, then rejected were the messengers who were before thee. They came with clear evidence and the written records and the illuminating law. Every soul will taste death and you will but be paid in full your rewards on the day of resurrection. And whoso is removed from the fire and made to enter the garden, he has attained. And the life of this world is only the enjoyment of deception. You will be tried in your wealth and in yourselves, and you will hear from those in possession of the law before you and from the idolaters much hindrance. But if you be patient and in prudent fear, that is among the determination of matters. And when God took an agreement of those in possession of the law, you are to make it plain to mankind and not to conceal it. Then they cast it behind their backs and sold it for a cheap price. Evil is what they buy. Think not those who exult at what they have accomplished and love to be praised for what they have not done. Ellipsis in a happy state in this life to continue and think them not in a place of safety from the punishment and they have a painful punishment and to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and God is powerful over all things. In the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of night and day are proofs for those possessed of insight, those who remember God standing and sitting and on their sides and reflect upon the creation of the heavens and the earth. Our Lord, thou createst not this in vain. Glory be unto thee. And protect thou us from the punishment of the fire. Our Lord, whom thou causest to enter the fire, him hast thou humiliated. And there are for the wrongdoers no helpers. Our Lord, we heard a summoner calling to faith, Believe in your Lord, and we have believed. Our Lord, forgive thou us our transgressions, and remove thou from us our evil, and take thou us with the virtuous. Our Lord, 
Give thou us what thou hast promised us by thy messengers, and humiliate thou us not on the day of resurrection, thou wilt not break the appointment. And their Lord responds to them, I suffer not to be lost the work of any that works among you, male or female. You are alike, those who emigrate and are expelled from their homes and are hindered in my cause and fight and are killed, I will remove from them their evil and I will make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow as a reward from the presence of God. And God with him is the fairest of rewards. Let not deceive thee the going to and fro of those who are indifferent to warning in the land, a little enjoyment. Then their habitation is hell, and evil is the resting place. But those who are in prudent fear of their Lord, they have gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein as a welcoming gift from God. And what is with God is better for the virtuous, and among the doctors of the law are those who believe in God and what was sent down to you and what was sent down to them. They are humble towards God. They sell not the proofs of God for a cheap price. They have their reward with their Lord. God is swift in reckoning. O oh, you who heed warning, be patient and vie in patience and be constant and be in prudent fear of God, that you might succeed. Chapter 4 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful O mankind, be in prudent fear of your Lord, who created you from a single soul, and created from it its mate, and scattered from them many men and women, and be in prudent fear of God, through whom and through kinship you ask one of another. God is over you, watching. And give the fatherless their property, and exchange not the good for the bad, nor consume their property into your property. That is a great misdeed. And if you fear that you cannot do justice by the fatherless, marry what pleases you of the women, two or three or four. But if you fear that you cannot do justice, then one, or what your right hands possess. That is more likely that you will do no injustice, and give the women their dowries as a free gift, but if they remit to you anything of it voluntarily, then consume it with ease and pleasure, and give not the foolish your wealth which God gave you as sustenance, but feed them, and clothe them out of it and speak to them a fitting word, and try the fatherless when they have reached marriage. If you find them to be of sound judgment, deliver to them their property, and consume it not wastefully and hastily before they be grown. And he that is free from need, let him abstain, and he that is poor, let him take according to what is fitting. And when you deliver to them their property, take witnesses over them. And sufficient is God as reckoner. To men belongs a share of what parents and close relatives leave. And to women belongs a share of what parents and close relatives leave from what is little or much, a share ordained. And when there are present at the division close relatives and the fatherless and the poor, give to them therefrom, and speak to them a fitting word. And let them fear who, if they left behind them, weak progeny would be afraid for them. So let them be in prudent fear of God, and speak an apposite word. Those who consume the wealth of the fatherless unjustly, they but consume into their bellies fire and they will burn in an inferno. God charges you concerning your children. For the male, the like of the portion of two females. But if there be women above two, for them two-thirds of what he left. And if she be one, for her the half. And for his parents, for each one of them, one-sixth of what he left, if he have a child. 
then if he have not a child and there inherit from him his parents, for his mother one third. But if he have brothers or sisters, for his mother one sixth, after a bequest he has made or debt. Your parents and your children, you know not which of them is nearer to you in benefit, as an obligation from God. God is knowing wise. And for you half of what your wives left, if they have not a child. But if they have a child, for you one-fourth of what they left, after a bequest they have made or debt. And for them one-fourth of what you left, if you have not a child. But if you have a child, for them one-eighth of what you left, after a bequest you have made or debt. And if a man or a woman be inherited without issue, but have a brother or sister, for each of them one-sixth, but if they be more than that, they are partners in one-third, after a bequest he has made, or debt, without harm, as a bequest from God. And God is knowing, forbearing. Those are the limits of God, and whoso obeys God and his messenger He will make him enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein. And that is the tremendous achievement. And whoso disobeys God and his messenger and transgresses his limits, he will make him enter a fire, he abiding eternally therein. And for him is a humiliating punishment. And those who commit sexual immorality from among your women, call to witness against them four from among you. Then, if they bear witness, keep them within the households until death takes them, or God makes for them a way. And the two who commit it among you, hinder them. But if they repent and do right, let them be. God is receptive, merciful. Upon God is but acceptance of repentance from those who do evil in ignorance, then repent soon after, and these are they towards whom God turns, and God is knowing wise. And acceptance of repentance is not for those who do evil when death has come to one of them, he says, I repent now, nor is it for those who die as atheists, for these have we prepared a painful punishment. O you who heed warning, it is not lawful for you to inherit from women against their will, and nor shall you put constraint upon them that you might take away a part of what you gave them, save that they commit manifest sexual immorality. But live with them according to what is fitting, and if you dislike them, it may be that you dislike a thing and God makes therein much good. And if you wish to replace one wife with another, and you have given one of them a fortune, take not from it anything. Would you take it by false accusation and obvious falsehood? How can you take it after you have gone in unto each other, and they have taken from you a solemn agreement? And marry not what your fathers married among women, save what is past It is sexual immorality and an abomination and an evil way. Forbidden to you are your mothers and your daughters and your sisters and your paternal aunts and your maternal aunts and the daughters of a brother and the daughters of a sister and your milk mothers and your milk sisters and the mothers of your wives and your stepdaughters under your protection from your wives unto whom you have gone in. And if you have gone not in unto them, then there is no wrong upon you. And the wives of your sons of your loins, and that you bring two sisters together, save what is past. God is forgiving, merciful.